Wait! There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Someone do something. Somebody help. Can't wait to count out your coins. There, Bleak Falls Barrow. Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Guardian Stones, three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself.
thief, eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know. into any Imperials. Just let me do the talking.
glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Now, mother. Oh, I know it. It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? Raylo, what are you doing here? I'll be right down. What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. <sighs> Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live? I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know.
There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but... Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. I'm glad to help any way I can. I told you my sister would help us out. Watch what you're doing! I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Lucan over in the Riverwood Traders says thieves broke into his store. Strange. He says they hardly took anything. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hand. Make yourself at home. Keep your fight, or die well. Just head north. Can't miss it. It's the capital of Whiterun Hold. Jarl Balgruf still hasn't declared for one side or the other. 
So, at least you won't run into any Imperials along the way. Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the Dragon means, it's Ulfric. Yeah, sure, I understand. No need to decide now. But I know that after you think about what you saw today, you'll realize that Skyrim deserves to be free. So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Don't even say such things! I hope that dragon stays away from Riverwood. We don't need that kind of trouble. Make yourself at home. Jarl Balgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled White Run hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Of course, Ulfric's cause is just. It's time for Skyrim to rid itself of the Empire. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raelof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turug was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turug dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim, and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Faithless Imperials. Talos guide you. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck.
one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? We are done talking about this. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in, but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. What the... Show those thieves, not... Take a look.
I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more... Till next time. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. <laughs> I wonder why they only stole Lucan's Golden Claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. Yeah. What are you staring at? All right, then. Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry.
Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic, unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients to a little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Nobody trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. Alright then. I still need you to make a batch of those fried potatoes. We can serve them with the ale. Yep. And? You'll take care of it? Don't I always? I don't suppose I could convince you to take care of it now, could I? No. I should have guessed. You're that visitor been poking around. Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. Glad to help any way I can. We're a small village, but we work hard. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help. Good day. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village, I'll show you what I know. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I don't need your jokes right now. But maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly.
good day. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Lucan's got a little bit of everything in the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor the blacksmith. Truly? So many... You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about... <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Fendo? Here, I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Bless you for agreeing to help us. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For an I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. All right, then.
Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. <laughs>